It's the Baldwin Motion Vega. Everybody, the next car that you've selected to view on ClassicMuscleCars.com is another fantastic arrival. Now this is a Baldwin Motion Vega, and I'm not sure, and I'm not going to tell you this is a real one because I can't prove it, but I'll tell you what, we're going to talk about this car, and I've had these before, and this car is absolutely 100% right. If it was a clone it was built, it's 100% right to be a Baldwin Motion Vega. Now I'm going to talk about some of those things. I want to go through briefly and tell you what the drivetrain in it. This has got a DZ. 1969-302 motor in it. It's got a smoky unit, porcupine intake, aluminum. Super, super rare. Uh, you can give that a call. He can tell you a little bit more about that. Jeremy, when he goes around, he's going to show you under the hood of this car. He's going to show you that intake. Now, I've got a couple things to do to it. We got it off our trailer yesterday. We got a little bit of a crack in the spoiler from getting it unloaded because it does have a low spoiler in the front. That's totally correct for this car. And uh, we've got a little tear in the seat over here, and I want to freshen up the engine bay a little bit. You know how we are here. We're picky about our cars. That doesn't mean that I'm selling a new car from 1970, 71, 72, 73, 66, 65, 67. You get my point, okay? But I try to make them the best that I can for the money that I'm going to sell them, and somebody is going to get an incredible car at an incredible value. Now, in the early 70s when the Vegas came out, Baldwin Motion came to the need of the enthusiasts for the Vegas, and so did Yanko, but Baldwin Motion did it better because I like the way that they did their cars. They put their own engine in these cars and they did their own accent treatments. One of which, and this is vintage folks, this is not a repop, this is an old vintage hood here. It's what we call the Phase 3 hood. They got this idea from the Corvette, from the Phase uh, 3 Corvette hood, and they call it the Phase 3 hood. It drops down. Jeremy can show you that when he goes around. Uh, that's distinct on all Baldwin Motion built cars. Camaros, uh, the uh, uh, Corvettes that they built, also, uh, for example, this car, because this is a Baldwin Motion equipped Vega. Now, in the front, if you'll notice, they have this low spoiler that drops down that looks like an air dam. Okay, that's another correct piece for this car. Also, they have two half bumpers for the car that makes it look like a Camaro Rally Sport. And then the, the front of the grille is exposed. That's totally right. Next, if you come back and you look at the fender flares here, this is totally right. This is totally the way that these cars were when they were built. Exactly right. It looks awesome on this car. The next thing I want to point out is the side exhaust. This is exactly the way the Baldwin Motion Vega was, was made with this side exhaust. Also, Jeremy, if you could show them down here, these are the correct style vintage Krager wheels that came on some of the Baldwin Motion equipped Vega GTs. And they're a beautiful set. These are old. These aren't repops, folks. You can buy new Krager SS wheels and some of the other ones in reproduction. These, forget about it. They're not available. They're not available. Also, on the inside of this car, which was another uh, part of the package for the Baldwin Motion Vega GTs, was this roll bar set up. And it's padded, too. Jeremy will show you that. It runs down into the trunk. It had a hinge here with a pen so that you can put it in fully here if you're going to, uh, say, take it to the track as it was originally intended. But I don't, I don't think this car would be a car you'd want to take it to the track right now. I think this is a car you want to take to your local cruise in or you want to take it to a show because it is an incredible piece of muscle car history here. These cars were very rare. They were very unique and they were very, very fast cars. 
Now you have to remember, we got a DZ302 M21 Trans with a line lock on it, 12 bolts in the back, 430 gear. I mean, this car will absolutely get up and flat fly. Okay? And it's awesome. Look at the paint that's on this car. It's beautiful. It has a beautiful stripe for the Phase 3 hood. And then back here, which I was getting to, is you see this whale tail spoiler? Distinct only for the Baldwin Motion Vega. It's awesome. The striping in the back. The flip tail spoiler. Just a beautiful, beautiful car. I love this car. It's great. I, it's been years since I had one. The last one that we had was in pieces. And here we've got one that's all together. It's got tack, gauges, uh, beautiful shifter in it, beautiful interior. All the chrome and stainless is just beautiful on the car. And going down to these, now again, this is not, uh, looking at it, this is not a repop part. This is an older part, but it's still in excellent condition. So you know what? If somebody cloned this car, it was cloned a long time ago. Or it was built by Baldwin Motion Parts for mail order. So that's what we have here. But you know what? We're not going to be asking one hundred and fifty dollars or $200,000 for this car. Not anywhere near it. I will tell you that you cannot build this car for what we're going to sell it for. If you had a Vega that was an excellent body like this car to start with for nothing, you would not be able to build it for the price that it's going to take for you to buy it from us now, done and completed. So give Ed a call at 847-526-5950. He can give you more information, more pictures. I'm sending this car off this morning to get a few things done. Today is the 20th. We will have it back on the floor in a week or so. Correct, Jeremy? Jeremy's going to give you a brief go around of the car. Uh, Rob's going to come up and help him with the hood because he's going to hold the hood so that we don't scratch it or chip it. And uh, he's going to show you this incredible motor with this Porcupine Smoky Unic Vintage aluminum intake under the hood. It's incredible, folks. This is such a cool car. You got to come out and see this car in person. You won't believe it. It's awesome. So anyway, Jeremy, you can also point out here, this is one of the old uh, Dino Proven Motion Performance stickers in the rear glass. So this car is just like they came, folks. It's awesome. So anyway, I'm going to turn you over to Germany. He's going to give you a quick go around on this Motion Vega GT. Hey, let's go for a walk around the Baldwin Motion Vega. Let's take out that hood first. There's the uh, the scoop on, on the hood there. I don't know if you can see the detail there, but it's indented right in the front. Very sharp looking machine. Very nice set of Kragers back here. And these are the real deal, these aren't repops. And up here, Dino Proven Products Motion Performance. Nice rear deck spoiler, nicely glassed in. That's just a, that's just a piece tacked onto it. Got some hefty meat back there. Cooper Cobras radial GTs. Let's get a closer look at the side exhaust here. Extremely well done. Original material too, like Tony said. That's that's not aftermarket. Let's pop the hood pins. I just have to put these in the pocket for now. Doesn't look like Rob's gonna make it out. Let's just take a look underneath here. Let's see what it's got to say for itself. Let's go back over to the other side. Now that we've got this side lifted up a bit. Making sure we got clearance up front. There is no prop rod, so we're going to have to do it like this. 
like I said, a Moroso valve covers. An interesting uh, fuel manifold here for the double pumper, dual filters, and MSD ignition system. Let's walk around to the other side. No power steering, no brake booster. Just, oh yeah, it's got that smoky Unic manifold. That's right, let's check this thing out. That certainly is different. I don't believe I've ever seen one of these things in person. Nice set of headers down there. And uh, if you notice the uh, spark plug wires even have heat shields. The fiberglass heat shields over to protect the boot. Good deal. Nice flex fan on the radiator. Here's a better shot of the MSD and of the fuel manifold there. Coming back on the other side, just check out this intake. Very unique. Actually, one more thing I want to look at on the other side while we have the hood open. Body by Fisher. I don't know how readable this is going to be, but here it is in the meantime. Looks like an original body tag. Very good. Okay. Now we'll set this down. Put the hood pins in. Actually, I better do it now. Before someone attempts to drive off with it. Okay, now let's check out the interior. Standard Vega door, but then there's the rest of the car. Let's look in the back. We have the roll cage. And in the back there is the one uh, cross member that uh, goes, it's, it's for the door, it's for the driver's side here. That's just laying back there, goes into there and hooks onto that as well made for uh, easy entry into the car. Getting into the car. Oil pressure gauge. Put the emergency brake on and start this thing up. Very healthy. smooth running engine and it's showing 61920 on the odometer it's got an AM radio gas gauge water temperature water temperature might actually be working and you got a light of some sort there and there's the line lock switch on the shifter Headliners looking okay, very, very nice. Let's take a look in the trunk. If we can. Well, in the back anyway. And there's your battery. Extra distributor cap of some sort. There's something in there. It's looking pretty nice and clean back here. An awesome machine. Speaking of the machine, it's next. Baldwin Motion Vega. DZ302 powered. There is no substitute. From ClassicMuscleCars.com.